This is question number six. We're told the value of the integral from 0 to 8 of the natural log of 3 plus x squared with respect to x obtained by using Simpson's rule with four strips is denoted by a. In the first part of the question for four marks, we need to find the value of a correct to three significant figures. Using Simpson's rule, we can state that the integral will be approximately equal to h over 3. We will have the first plus the last plus four lots of the odds plus two lots of the evens. So let's have a look now at what we have. We have 0 to 8 and we have four strips. Four strips gives rise to five ordinates. So we can say x0 is going to be equal now to 0. We'll have x1. x1 will be equal to 2. x2 will be equal to 4. x3 will be equal to 6. And x4 will be equal to 8. So we can say now that the integral from 0 to 8 of the log of 3 plus x squared with respect to x using Simpson's rule will be approximately equal to h over 3. So that will be 2 over 3. We're going to have the first. The first now is when x is equal to 0. So subbing that in, we've got the natural log of 3 plus 0 squared. So we can say that's the natural log of 3. We now consider the last, subbing in 8. 8 squared is 64. So we'll have plus the natural log of 67. We now need four lots of the odds. The first odd is when x is equal to 2. So we'll have now the natural log of 2 squared, which is going to give me now 4 plus the 3, we get the natural log of 7, plus the next one, which is x sub 3, when x is 6, the natural log of 6 squared plus 3, which is going to give me 39. And then we add two lots of the natural log of 3 plus 4 squared. That's going to give me plus now two lots of the natural log of 19. We can, of course, use log laws to simplify this. I'm simply going to put it through the calculator and round my answer to three significant figures. So what we'll have then now is two thirds. And then we will multiply that now by the natural log of the first term, which is 3. So we can type this in ln of 3 plus ln of 67. Then we'll have plus 4 lots of ln of 7 plus ln of 39. We'll close the bracket off and then add two lots of ln of 19. If we do that, that will now give us 22.4200. So 22.4200 dot dot dot. Therefore, this is going to be 22.4 and that now is to three significant figures. So that's the first four marks done now in the first part of the question. In the second part of the question for two marks, we need to explain why an approximate value of the integral from 0 to 8 of a natural log of 9 plus 6x squared plus x to the fourth dx is 2a. If we consider now the natural log of 3 plus x squared, taking now 3 plus x squared, we can say that 3 plus x squared, all squared, will be equal to 9 plus 6x squared plus x to the fourth. Therefore, what we have now, and just writing this out, therefore, we will have the integral now of the natural log, taking this from 0 to 8, of 3 plus x squared squared, which we can write now as 2 lots, bringing the power down, 2 lots of 0 2, 8, now of the natural log of 3 plus x squared. So all I've done now is I'm just writing here, therefore we can say 2a. We can say that it's the power law, so it's the power law for logs. So power law for logs. I've just simply factored it and brought it down. I'm sure the mark scheme will give you lots of different approaches. All I've said is that that power can come down 
therefore it will be two lots of a. In the third part, for another two marks, we need to explain why an approximate value of 0 to 8, the integral of ln of 3e plus e multiplied by x squared dx is, is 8, or a plus 8. Okay, let's go ahead and factor this. So what we've got then is the integral from 0 to 8 of the natural log of, we're going to have 3, and let's just check what they have, 3e, so writing this in, 3e plus e multiplied by x squared dx can, of course, be written now as the integral from 0 to 8, taking out the factor of e, the natural log of e multiplied now by 3 plus x squared dx. Writing this again, this is going to give us now the integral from 0 to 8 of the natural log of e plus now the natural log of 3 plus x squared. We're integrating with respect to x. The natural log of e is 1. Therefore, this is going to give us now the integral from 0 to 8 of 1 plus now the natural log of 3 plus x squared dx. So we're going to have now, and if we just sub this in, we'll have the integral of 1, which is going to be x from 0 to 8 plus the value that we have of a, as we know this right here gives us a. Therefore, we have now from here, we're going to have 8 subbing in these limits, 8 minus 0 plus a, which is equal to a plus 8. I'm sure there's a slicker way of doing that. All I've done is simply factored it and written it like so. So take an e out and show now using log laws again that this gives us the integral of 1 and then what we've already had. We know this is a we evaluate the integral of 1 with respect to x between 0 and 8 to get this value. So that's one way that you could show it.